PPL fans, welcome to PPL season. How are you guys been doing? Huh? Hope you guys have been doing well. My name is Frank Trode and I am analyst and admin of the PPL. And uh, basically I'm here to provide you during this season three uh, with the transfers that will be happening each week. You know, so we're doing episode one. This means that this will be after week one, right? Um, and you know, some of the teams uh, are already making transfers already, right? What changes are going to be happening on the happening on the teams? What uh, could we expect uh, right before the match for week two, right? So uh, I hope you guys are excited. Good to see you back for the ones that remember me from, uh, you know, the first season of the BPL. And uh, let's get, you know, jump straight into it, you know. Um, Week one, right? Changes after week one. These are usually the teams that perhaps during the draft, in even during grace period, have not managed to have a proper, uh, well-built team, right? Maybe there's something they want to change. Maybe they don't feel comfortable after the grace period, uh, and after trying it week one, right? So for week two, some of the coaches have already seen some of the mistakes of their teams and they're already doing changes and it's two coaches right uh, we're gonna start start uh, for the first coach that we have today We've got a here my notebook uh, and it's going to be necro stevo and um, necro stevo uh, he's gonna make some changes in fact he has been kind enough to, to send me a little bit of uh, what he calls sacrifices you know uh, so he's gonna be doing a little bit of that uh, necro magic and he's going to be showing us uh, a little bit what are the the transfers about or the sacrifices as he calls it now then allow me to explain the sacrifices that have occurred for the team changes this week in the victorian shadows first i took the essence of girder who fell in battle and i combined it with the spectral energy of my bramblegast and thus I have now have access to Annihilator. Next, Dodrio and Livani are no more. They shall live on, reborn as Murkrow and the legendary Articuno. Finally, when I was changing my Terra Captains, I wanted more darkness. Thus, Graphii and Articuno are my new Terra Captains. Graphii with flying, dark, and rock that's right lichen rock is no more and the very soul of lichen rock is imbued into my graphi eye and of course all we need on my articuno are ice fire and flying bronzong was not nearly dark enough and so i switched its fairy terratyping into poison just for the options <laughs> thank you for allowing me to interrupt this broadcast Back to you, Frank. Okay, that's, uh, you know, that got me a little spook, you know, that got me a little spook. Uh, but look at all these changes, man. Uh, dropping out half, half of the team almost. Like a rock gone, Brabble Gas gone, Levani gone, Girder and Dodrio. I'm so sad Dodrio is, is gone, to be honest. I was so happy. And uh, eager to see these Pokemon doing things. Now it's a free agent, so if any other coach wants to pick it, you know, it's right there. Uh, but you know, the things that he has picked up solidifies the team a little bit more, has a proper, like, uh, top, you know, top end team now with Annihilate. Absolutely beast of a Pokemon in draft and not in draft. So uh, I think this Pokemon is always good. And if you don't know what to do with it, you just put bulk up Drain Punch and, and Rage Fist on it and you'll be good to go every week. It's fine. Uh, and then we have, uh, you know, Terra changes that he made, as he said. Uh, Clodshire, it's a Pokemon that I like this change too, you know. Even though I love uh, Terra Clodshire, it is a, an expensive mod. It is an expensive Terra. So changing this uh, to be able to play around a lot more with the Terra typings is very, very nice, right? So we have a team now with uh, three Terra captains instead of just two now, right? Uh, we got the Articuno, we got the Graphia, and we got the, the Murkrow. Not gonna get much in depth into it since he is, has already explained it to me very, uh, or explained it to us even, uh, you know, in a very 
sacrificial manner. And the last thing, you know, change a little bit Bronzong as well. No more fairies, uh, you know, everyone's tired of Terra Fairy, and Necrosteva's tired too. You know, he's gone for the Terra Poison. So I'm excited for that, you know. It's gonna be great. And for the second person, coach, that has changed uh, its team, this week, it's going to be Wanzi Baynet, my good old friend Wanzi Baynet, council, uh, council member as well. Um, he also has changed a lot of things, right? Four Pokemon out, four Pokemon in, and some Terra Captain changes too, you know. Uh, my man has dropped Toad Screw, Cryogonal, Monchlax, and Floats. Captain Floats, are you kidding me? One of the best mods in Rain, Terra Captain too. Uh, and he has picked up Kingdra, Bisharp, Combusken. And Executor. Oops, not Combuscan. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, do not count Combuscan, right? It has one point left, so maybe we can see more changes from him uh, later on. But Combuscan is definitely not on the team. Um, then he's lost Floatzer, right? As Terra Captain. That is a big hit, right? That thing was, was good, you know? Every week, you just put Choice Bandit Terra Water in the rain. And I think this, this puts in work. So... Uh, he has changed it to Kingdra Road to be more unpredictable. Kingdra is a very threatening Terra Captain, to be honest. It doesn't have to be working in rain. Although, to be honest, Floatzel can work outside of rain, but I guess it's more rain focused than Kingdra, right? Who has Dragon Dead, who has like the critical set, uh, you know, critical sets, uh, critical hit sets. And then Executor is interesting. I'm not sure what he's meant to do with this, but uh, having a grass type on a, on a rain team, you know, never bad. Never bad. Uh, so, you see that he's picked up Kingdra and Bishop. Both of them were going to be the new Terra Captains. First Kingdra is going to be Water and Steel. So Steel is going to be covering, uh, you know, that Dragon Weakness. Uh, he could have been, he could have put Fairy, but he has decided to go with Steel. And I agree, to be honest, because if you have a Rain team, having a, uh, just like the Grass type, right? If you have a, uh, a Steel type in Rain, uh, that's very nice, right? Because you're... Res you you d you're not as weak to fire no more, right? And um, the other Terra Captain is going to be uh, Bishop with a dual stab, Steel and Dog, and also is going to have uh, Flying, which is the King Gambit, right? Sort of, uh, sort of gaming he's going to be trying to bring with Bishop here. We'll see if that if this ends up being uh, worth it, right? What things he's going to bring for week two. If these changes are going to be great or not. Uh, but I'm excited to see. You know, tomorrow we got the matches. So, uh, we may as well go for it. You know, we may as well go for it. Uh, look, guys. What are the, the, the changes you guys agree with? You don't agree with in the comments? Uh, let me know. You know. And, um, what? Oh, I forgot to mention something. I had a, a prime interview that I did yesterday night. With Wanji Baynet. Um... Something's happening to him, man. I don't know. Take a look. And here we go, PPL fans. We got Wanzi Baynet to explain to you what the hell is he doing with this team. Premier, premier. Um, and here it is, Wanzi, a long time no see. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm doing very good, uh, thank you. H how are you doing? I'm doing good, you know. I'm, you know, missing... Uh, my old reporters, uh, you know, we're missing you very much and such, uh, as we do in the company, uh, you know, but, um, uh, what is, look at you now, you're a player now, you're a draft league player playing with the B-Boys once again, uh, how are you, I, I see you different, man, what is, what is happening here? Um, yeah, I have obviously got a new, a new fit, um, I thought I needed a change of style, so I, I got some new clothes, and that's definitely the only thing that's changed about me. Nothing else whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here uh, in Draft League City, playing with the big boys again. Definitely not here against my will. Um, but yeah, I, I'm doing very, very good. Um, you, you are so good at doing things definitely not against your will. Um... You have to tell me, first of all, why did you even draft Monchlax to start with, right? Uh, uh, and what is this changes? You know, everyone was pretty much expecting it, right? Toad's Crew, Cryogonal, without Terra, Monchlax, of all things. What's happening here? 
What has happened to you? Well, <laughs> I don't know what you mean by what's happened to me. I'm, I'm the, the same old regular onesie that I've always been. Um, when it comes to the changes, I wanted to kind of put my stamp on the team, you know? Wanted to make it feel like it was my team. Uh, it just didn't quite gel properly, so I dropped a bunch of Pokemon and picked up some new ones, and now I feel like it fits me a lot better than it did before. I see. I see. Not much of a technical explanation from, from Wanzi here. Very interesting. Uh, what about Floatzel? Man, the fans are going crazy. Floatzel was like the star. What is this? Huh? <laughs> technical explanation would be that Floatzel... It was very much a one-note Pokemon. You kind of know exactly what Floatzel is going to do every time it hits the field. Uh, it's going to hit really hard on the physical side exclusively. And it's obviously it does the job very well, but it just felt like it was a bit of a waste for the amount of points that it was. So by hmm. picking up Kingdra to replace it, I can now go physical or special, which means that it's going to make my opponents sort of second guess me a lot more. And when looking at the damage calcs between Kingdra and Floatzel, there wasn't that much difference. So if I wanted to do that physical choice ban Terra Water thing, I still have the opportunity to do so. I see. I see. Very interesting. So you're looking for that unpredictability. There we go. So you're looking for that unpredictability. Very interesting. Very unpredictable, honestly. Like this, uh, like this interview, right? I was not expecting you to see you like this. It seems like after you know you got fired by by the new staff and all that, you would be you know looking much worse. But look at you now. Huh? Um, interesting, right? Yeah after getting fired from that job that I definitely did and definitely remember. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th that was a hell of a time, but I I've bounced back and I feel like I'm in my prime right now. I see, I see. One last question, one last question. Eh? Not about your life, you know, everyone cares about your life, but there's one point left. Are you thinking of doing more changes? That point could be used by something interesting, like, I don't know, Kaboshkin or anything like that. Well, unfortunately, uh, that one point is very difficult to make use of because there's only uh, one slot left on my team. And due to the terror rules and the, the tiering rules this season, I don't actually have any way of making use of that one point. I was mm -hmm. looking at doing something with Combuskin, uh, but then I realized that would take me over the three E tier limit oh. that Pokemon Premier League has. So. If I want to make use of that point, I need to do some more major reshuffling. So maybe I'll move things around in the future. Maybe I'll look to try and do something to make that that point a bit more I see. worth it to me. But mm -hmm. for now, I think this is what ha this is what has to be done. I see. I see. We wouldn't want that, of course. We wouldn't want that. Yeah, uh, all right. So I guess we we got it. Thank you very much, Wanzi, for your company. You know what? Hey, man. What's happening to you? Cut the shit. Who are you? Who even are you? I haven't seen a LinkedIn post from you in just a long time. What is up with this? Eh? With that... With a hat? I don't know what you mean. Like, I... You... Don't dare tell anyone who I really am. Don't dare link this to anyone, okay? Don't dare link this, I swear to God. I would never do it. I wasn't expecting you to be on the other end. I got a phone call. I didn't expect it to be you. I expected it to be one of my friends. I wasn't prepared. I'm sorry. Okay? It's okay. You know that I always, you know, I'm always careful with sharing information. I would never share it to anyone online. You know, not for, you know, for the, for the news. I would never do it. You know, I'm an ethic person. If the admins find out that once he's not here and I'm taking his place, he'll get kicked out. I'll get kicked out. And then we're all screwed. I could be in real danger if that happens, so you must keep this to yourself, okay? Definitely don't go posting this in any YouTube videos anywhere, okay? Very, very strange. Very strange indeed, but there you have it. That's Wanzi Baynet. If we want to see what's happening to him, maybe we should check out his shadow and see what's up, you know? Anyways, PPL fans, this been it. Pretty quick, you know? We got the news done. Uh, next week, there are going to be a lot of uh, changes. So, I hope you guys are, you know, ready for it. Because, um, 
lots of trainers uh, decide to start polishing their teams you know starting to prepare for later stages of the competition and you can tell you know you can tell week three is gonna be exciting uh but that's about it guys see you guys in the next video hope to see you um you know watching the matches as well you know next to you you know even if you don't notice me i'll be there breathing next to you holding your hand anyways goodbye see you